As the day drew to a close, Mr. Korn gathered his students around him, their eager faces awaiting their next adventure. Mr. Korn began. Tomorrow, we're going to play a very special game with these special flashcards. The children's eyes widened with anticipation as Mr. Korn revealed a stack of cards, each bearing a big, bold letter of the alphabet. As Mr. Korn handed out three flashcards to each of them, he exclaimed, But before we dive into the fun, I have a little homework for you all. Each of you has been given a flashcard with a letter on it. Your task is to find the names of food items that start with the letters on your flashcards. You can ask your parents for help or look in your favorite books. Be creative and have fun. The students nodded eagerly, already thinking of their favorite foods that would match each letter. They thought of apples for A, ice cream for I, and pizza for P. They couldn't wait to get started. The next day, the children returned to school with their homework complete, each flashcard adorned with colorful picture of the food items they had chosen. Mr. Korn beamed at his students, his eyes sparkling with pride as he addressed the eager faces before him. Good morning, everyone. Are we ready for another exciting day? Mr. Korn exclaimed. Mr. Korn began the day's activity by picking up the first three alphabet cards, each one bearing a letter from A to C. With a flourish, he placed them in a neat row at the top of the board, setting the stage for the task ahead. All right, Pomido, show us what you've got, Mr. Korn encouraged, his eyes twinkling with anticipation. With steady hands, Pomido retrieved the first card, a vibrant image of a juicy red apple, and placed it beneath the letter A. Next, she reached for the card featuring a cheerful banana and positioned it neatly below the letter B. Finally, with a flourish, she revealed the card adorned with a colorful carrot, fitting it snugly under the letter C. A is for apple, B is for banana, C is for carrot, proclaimed Pomito proudly. The classroom erupted into applause as Pomito stepped back, a triumphant grin spreading across her face. Well done, Pomito, Mr. Korn said, his voice filled with pride. You've done an excellent job. Mr. Korn retrieved the cards from their positions atop the board and placed the next set of three cards D, E, and F. Now let's invite Orson to continue our exploration, announced Mr. Korn. Orson stepped forward, his eyes bright with anticipation. He positioned the first card beneath the letter D, revealing a delectable donut adorned with glimmering sprinkles and a glossy sheen. Next, he moved to the letter E and slid a colorful flashcard beneath it, showcasing a delicate egg. Finally, Orson reached the letter F and placed his last flashcard beneath it, unveiling a vibrant fish. D is for donut. E is for egg. F is for fish, Orson proclaimed, his voice filled with wonder. Applause filled the room as Mr. Korn exclaimed, Bravo, Orson, you've done splendidly. With a satisfied smile, Orson stepped back, his heart brimming with excitement. Mr. Korn picked up the next three alphabet cards, G, H, I, and placed them at the top of the board. Bella stepped forward eagerly. With a smile lighting up her face, she reached for her first card. G for grapes, she announced confidently, placing the vibrant card beneath the letter G. H for honey, she declared, placing the card beneath the letter with gentle precision. Lastly, Bella approached the letter I. I for ice cream, she exclaimed, placing the final card beneath the letter with a flourish. Mr. Korn offered a heartfelt appreciation. Well done, Bella, he commended, his voice filled with pride. With the alphabet cards J, K, and L now in place, it was Carrie's turn to continue the lesson. J for juice, Carrie announced confidently, as he carefully positioned a card with the vibrant image of a tall glass filled with refreshing juice beneath the letter J. K for kiwi, Carrie declared next, placing a card with the illustration of a sliced kiwi, its green flesh speckled with seeds, beneath its designated letter with precision. Lastly, Carrie approached the letter L with determination. L for lemon, he proclaimed, placing his final card beneath the letter with a sense of accomplishment. As Carrie stepped back, a sense of pride filled the air. Well done, Carrie, Mr. Korn praised, his voice warm with encouragement. As Mr. Korn arranged the cards, M, N, and O on the board, the classroom buzzed with anticipation. With a determined stride, Broca approached the board, ready to contribute. M for milk, N for noodles, O for orange, Broca proclaimed, placing the cards beneath the letters with a sense of accomplishment. Mr. Korn, impressed by Broca's contributions, offered his appreciation. Well done, Broca, he commended, his voice resonating with pride. 
As Mr. Korn arranged the alphabet cards P, Q, and R on the board, it was Affie's turn to contribute. With a determined expression, she stepped forward, ready to add her touch to the arrangement. First, P for pizza, Affie declared confidently, her voice ringing out across the room. Next, Q for quiche, she announced, sliding the card into place beneath its designated letter. Lastly, R for raspberry, she proclaimed, placing the final card, the vibrant red berries, depicted in all their juicy sweetness. Mr. Korn, impressed by her contributions, commended. Well done, Affy. Your creativity and knowledge shine through in your selections. Next, it was Peavy's turn to place the cards for the letter S, T, and U. S is for sandwich, Peavy declared confidently as he placed the image of a stacked sandwich filled with layers of delicious ingredients. Next is T for tomato, Peavy announced as he placed the illustration of a vibrant red tomato. U is for Udon, he proclaimed, placing the final card beneath the letter U. Excellent choice, PV, Mr. Korn exclaimed. PV smiled, feeling a sense of pride in his selection. Finding an item for you was hard, PV admitted, his eyes filled with gratitude. My dad helped me with it. There was a warmth in his voice as he spoke of his father. A silent acknowledgement of the support and guidance that had led him to this moment. Mr. Korn arranged the last set of cards V, W, X, Y, and Z on the board. The classroom buzzed with excitement as Mr. Korn completed the display. V is for vegetable, W is for watermelon, X is for semenia, Y is for yogurt, and Z is for zucchini. The vibrant images captured the essence of each food item. Some words are rare and may be difficult, said Mr. Korn. But the whole idea with this exercise was to familiarize yourselves with words. So don't worry about the difficult ones. The purpose wasn't to master every word instantly, but rather to embrace the journey of learning and to celebrate the discovery of new ideas and concepts. And as the lesson drew to a close, the classroom erupted into a chorus of excitement and pride. They clapped and cheered, feeling proud of themselves for not only completing their homework but also learning new words.